What are we doing? We're gonna go see beautiful Pastor Loretto uh, out and about around our tiny little apartment that we have here in Italy. So we're gonna go to our favorite little coffee spots, maybe a beer. We're gonna give you guys a look about, we're gonna give you guys a look around, what is the word I want to say? So we're gonna go out and about and show you uh, how we've been living while we've been in here in Milan recording Hestia. So uh, come check it out. Mask up, mask up. This is our beautiful view, beautiful backyard. I just want to say that I love, I love Milan. I love Italy. You're seeing it on a cloudy day, so it's definitely gonna look shitty, but uh. Bella. I, I, I have to move the car. So what's the deal? You can kind of just park however you want, unless uh. Yeah, unless got, cops gonna find it, yeah. find it out. So they're just parked on the sidewalk. That's literally the first time I've seen anybody get a ticket for parking on the sidewalk. Which they just do all the time. Everyone just parks wherever they want here. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> They're all fine. Here it is. It's a Twingos. It's not a Twingo. It's a Twingos. Because it's special. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, so you were just getting fined because you were parked on the sidewalk. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Don't say. And no. <laughs> what what that? What that? There's very specific instructions of how to get in and out of that car. <laughs> this is brilliant, like, we had cops there finding the cars parked on the sidewalk. And there's 100 cars parked on the sidewalk. Like, the cops find two cars, and then they're off for a coffee break. So, <laughs> do we match? Yeah. Oh, yes! We wore better. So Gabriel uh, suggested we get our, our pants fixed, and suggested this haberdashery. Uh, conveniently located <laughs> beside our apartment. They fixed my pants before and the man was bleeding from his teeth. <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> this restaurant right here, it's like right beneath our apartment. Best carbonara. Best carbonara I've had. Alright, this is our favorite cafe. This is where I go every morning. I just want a cappuccino per me. Grazie. They do pizza burgers. They take a cheeseburger and they wrap it in a pizza and put it in an oven. I'm not even joking. Yeah, really? Ooh. Starting off my coffee review in Italy is I don't drink coffee. I uh, generally don't drink hot drinks. That's a weird thing I know. <laughs> but um, recently I haven't been sleeping too well, so I'm in no way drinking this for its flavor. I'm in no way drinking it for the experience. I mean, I'm going to be drinking it to wake up. So, my review will be purely on if I wake up and in how long. Mm. Mm. Smells like coffee. Mm. You just shoot it? It was like that much. Can you get a little Starbucks cutie drink? <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin spice latte. I need my milk. So, I'm gonna give this little That's tiny it. drink a um, four out of five. Grazie, ciao. Ci vediamo. What now, boys? Let's find, the some, let's, or? let's find some scooters. Panzerotti. Panzerotti. What's a Panzerotti? Panzerotti is a Panzerotto. Oh, okay. Oh, right. It's that's something very good to answer. eat. It's some fried bread with some mozzarella and tomatoes in it. That's the classic one. So, yeah, let's go for it. And this is how we've been getting around everywhere in Milan. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. You see these popping up in every city. Don't be an asshole. Just ride them the right way. Can you tell them what that is? Yes, uh, yeah, this, this is Piazzale Loreto. Actually, it's, it's center of Milan, but it's famous because Mussolini was, he, his body, his corpse was showed here after he was shot with his family relatives and stuff so at the end of the world and yeah big celebration here for his dad and, and the end of the world actually there's also no way to get across it uh because they didn't make sidewalks through it on purpose uh so you have to go under it yeah. oh. Oh. Well, 
the, the red. Okay. Non saper assaggiare il cannolo. Me lo fai assaggiare? Ma che bello! She she wanna make us try the cannolo? Yeah. Right? Okay. Grazie, grazie mille. Prego. Buonissima. How's the Sicilian beer? Yeah, man, this is legit. The Onda. It's delicious. This is a good minchia. 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 Very good minchia. Minchia. Mmm. As the resident Italian, is it good? Mm hmm. Yeah. I got the mozzarella and tomato. Right, what are we looking at? Let's see here. It's pure bread. You throw that trash. <laughs> To squeeze it all up from the top, like that. See that shit? Oh, wait, this is this is just an Italian hot pocket. This is the definition of just perfect street food. Street food, unreal. Off camera, I was talking to Pietro, and I was bragging that I can make pasta by hand, and he doesn't believe me. I don't. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and buy flour, semolina, egg, a bunch of ingredients. And I'm gonna make you a fucking pasta because wait, we'll it's wait, our day wait. off and we ain't got shit to do. Can he do it? Talk's a big game. I, I, I have faith in Mike. I have less faith in our kitchen. <laughs> Can you hear that? Somebody's just laying on the horn. I don't know, I think it's a protest. But actually I haven't heard anything about it, so I, I don't really know. Do you think they're protesting the scooters that we take everywhere? Probably, probably. It's cold. Uh, it's kind of some gloomy, blustery weather. So I think I'm gonna make uh, like a tagliatelle ragu. Easy to make by hand. Not too many ingredients. The only thing is it takes a long time to simmer, but that's okay. Good wheat from Amsterdam. <laughs> this is a sativa. 80% sativa, 20% indica. What's up, bro? And then, yo, this cushy right here is called Bumblebee Hush Hush. Yo, careful, because, yo, this shit stings you. These carts are really cool, because they can spin. What, the American ones don't do that? No. Really? No, the back wheels are locked. Oh. They only turn this way. Oh. Like this, you, this, this, this you could just use time. this way if you wanted. And six. Six eggs. In Italy, they have that many breads, right? That if you just want standard white bread to make a sandwich with, they consider it American bread. Up and feed your children here. You can either feed them pate horse, cavallo horse, cavallo. pata, no, 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 that's, that's food for baby horses. But that's yeah, horse, that's, no, that's, that's horse meat. It's for, no, it's uh, baby horse food. That's 100% horses pureed. <laughs> and that's a rabbit's pureed. At this moment, we need a wine secco. Forse ti piace Chianti de Toscana? Si, va benissimo, va benissimo, man. Man, un po' di Chianti. Ok. Um, Perché bisogna cucinare con questo vino, ma forse beviamo un po'. Certo. Ah, okay. Certo. Do you know why, why Mike's talking speaking Italian? <laughs> Perché siamo fratelli. Sì, 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 sì. <laughs> vero. Fratelli. Veramente. Possiamo non parlare, eh? Loro, loro non parlano italiano, parlano pure con me. Eh. Adesso vado comunque subito a sì, chiedere. Dai, no, ma si, non si preoccupi, anzi mi scusi. Eh. No, okay. vado, vado subito a chiedere. Just all this. I don't know. No, 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 That's not gonna break, is it? I hope the fuck it's not. I'm considering like hugging it. You feel safer now? I feel much safer now, yeah. You wouldn't hold I feel like an idiot baby you, carrying my uh, the drink, but. You wouldn't hold a baby by its ear. I wouldn't hold a fucking baby. This is the best time of the day. Fucking mask comes off. Gotta hate these things. But they're very important. The famous opera spritz. You get opera until it get really nice red. The doses are pretty easy. It's like one third, one third, and one third. Throw it right inside. 
We're poor, so we don't have like proper soda, we just use sparkling water that is the same. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Cocktail time! Dude, these knives are so dull. Yeah. We got all this butter from a farm nearby, so we're gonna use that also. Okay, so we've got our base going, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a bunch of pancetta, ground pork, ground beef, and veal, and we're gonna mix it in a bowl. I know, as soon as I walk, walk out that door, you're gonna put your face in it. And I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. And just inhale. I'm just gonna make a face print in this and then bake it. <laughs> and it's gonna come out just <laughs> nope. So we've got semolina and zero zero flour. We're gonna mix that all up, make a little well. Just incorporate a little bit by uh, bit by bit. I might even throw in another egg into this. Hey, look, I'll include the wrong. I put two eggs, it's gonna be too much. Also, I like an eggy pasta. And we're gonna put this in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. Take a bottle of wine that you've drank, and uh, I'm just gonna roll this out. With a wine bottle, that's all we could do. That's as flat as I can get them. All right. The ragu is awesome. Beautiful. The pasta, let me try like a, a smaller one. It's good. Could have been gone a few seconds more, mm. especially for the, the bigger the biggest one. Yeah. But it definitely is. It's very good, Mike. Cool. Thank, Thank you very it's... much. The, the ragu is really the ragu is optimal. Optimal. Ah, optimal. optimal. The ragu is the important part. The pasta. It, yeah. Well, of course. What happened was the pasta, when it went in, it stopped boiling. Yeah. Uh, and then I didn't want to overcook it and have it be like rubber. It's good. Yeah. What 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 you use for the for the for the sauce for the are you? Um, <clears throat> raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's ra it's raccoon ragu. <laughs> Street raccoon. You guys have some questions for us. I don't want to say it with my mouth full. <laughs> Let's see what wild or wacky questions you got. You got someone there? Uh, this one is directed at our good friend over here, Adam Kenny. Um, it says from Kane the Punk on Instagram, Adam, how many instruments can you play? At once. <laughs> Four. Four. It doesn't say at once. <laughs> Okay, those four being, <laughs> that's very broad. I, I retract that. I'm gonna say one, guitar. Mm. I also heard that you played drums for a reggae band once. <laughs> He's lying to you, he can drum as well. Hey, Adam's a big 311 fan, so <laughs> if we got any other uh, chill dudes out there, chill bros. <laughs> um, Cause we're gonna go on the 311 cruise. Right. <laughs> Mark Bailey 92 on Instagram has asked, who is going to be the first person to shave their beard off? Uh, me, because, um, so I didn't want to, I was going to tell you guys this later. <laughs> um, so I have like a, uh, a growth, it's like a, <laughs> a tumor. Um, and so I'm, ha I'm having it looked at when I get home. Um, they think it should be okay, but Doctor says three to five years, <laughs> um, so I have to get it shaved for the operation. I'm not shaving my beard. I look like a twelve. I look like a sixteen-year-old version of Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. When <laughs> so I can't. I can't shave my beard. I'm probably not going to ever, as long as I maintain this weight. It's great for hiding double chins and whatnot. 
because he been well. probably never grooms ever, unless we tell him to, so... No, no, I actually have shaved my beard and I realised how terrible my cheeks looked mm. without my beard shaking them in a certain way. A band of so, weak chins. Yeah. Or large <laughs> chins. Just because I have long hair, don't take that Because you can't grow hair. Um, <laughs> one's directed here at Pietro. Pietro. <laughs> Oh, really. What do we got? Um, Pietro. Nudo. 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 I will. I will be nudo. Can you so explain to people what the hell nudo nudo means? Nudo means naked. Nudo. So yeah. Right. So not, not quite a question, but I think there was a request. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a, a request. Wow. Okay, quite a so order. Pietro, uh, naked naked. Uh, and he will do that. <laughs> probably next time he showers. Mm -hmm. Or before he showers, actually. We have seen yeah. Pietro just wrapped in some kind of sheepskin before. Mm. That's right. You that that? Flora, I'll, we'll put this up on the screen. Are you planning to come back to the Seleniki? We'll be waiting at Rover Bar. Oh, 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 as soon as please, possible. Please, please. Okay. That's probably one of our favorite bars ever. One of our favorite cities ever. The Seleniki yeah. in Greece. Yeah. To anyone who's ever been there, it's a gorgeous town. A seaside place. It's an amazing festival. We play there as much as we can called Street Mode Festival <laughs> and hands down between the band it is the best food we've ever eaten as well too yeah mm -hmm. right yeah. behind oh, Rover Bar uh, big shout out to Yotas and everyone there so when we'll be coming back to the Saloniki as soon as there is not a global pandemic and we are allowed to get on planes again it um it sounds like you guys had a blast Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. It says, um, we're a few people asking us here saying, um, what is the release date for our new record, Hestia? Mm. Um, good question. Because the world changes daily, we probably can't say an exact date, but it's going to be early 2021. So I could say a day, it yeah. might change. It'll change, yeah. Better not to. So, you guys um, will have the album next year. <laughs> it's going to happen. 2021 is going to be a fucking awesome year. Yeah. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, you gotta subscribe. Because this global pandemic has been pretty rough for bands. Uh, so this YouTube thing is actually helping us out a little bit. So subscribe, hit that bell, hit that bell notification. We'll keep on putting out random videos like this. Eating yeah. food and talking and drinking. <laughs> we do it a lot, so... Um... Should we do this? Do you guys like this? Like, we'll keep doing it. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for not roasting us in the comments. That's a million. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell us what other kinds of videos you want us to do. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.